This morning I flew out of Minnesota and flew down here to Louisiana. When I left up in Minnesota it was about 60 degrees. When I got down here it was about 102. The feels like was over 110 so it was quite a difference. <laughs> I've never been here this time of year when things are so green and grown up. This right here was where we had a garden planted a couple years ago and uh, this usually gets mowed down and this year let it grow and look at how tall i just can't believe how fast things and how tall things grow down here if you guys watched in earlier videos you know that melissa hatched a bunch of birds and she does not have a big cage system like i've got back up in minnesota so i came down here to build her a cage system it's going to be similar to the one i have down there it's going to be roughly 12 feet the one up i have up there is about 10 feet by almost 30. This one's going to be 12 feet by about 24 feet with uh, four separate cages in it. This is the one I built earlier this year when I was down last winter, but this just holds four or five chickens, and now she has quite a few more. What are you doing, Mason? What about you, Nell? Huh? What about you, Nell? You're just a little puppy, aren't you? So anyway, over the next few days here, I'm going to do a lot of sweating and we're going to build a cage here and get some of those birds into something that's a little bit more manageable. Yesterday that lumber was delivered and the, it was an 18-wheeler, one of those big lumber trucks was sitting out on the road there and uh, had the flashers on and everything. And a lady come up in her car behind it, I don't know if she was texting and driving or what, she never saw the truck was there, never hit the brakes and this is what happened. They hauled her out in a stretcher and hauled the car away and it was a big mess. So anyway, that's enough talking. I need to get to work. It's not too bad yet. 87 feels like 99, but it's only 10 o'clock in the morning. Okay, everyone. Well, yesterday or last night, I got that a little bit chopped down and everything. Today now it's been about 12 hours on this. Uh, I took about an hour and a half off right around lunchtime and a little bit after that because there was no wind and it was just hot. But anyway, I got this far along. I got the concrete poured now so everything is sturdy. 
And uh, tomorrow it's going to be hot again, but I'll get on it early in the morning and see what else we can get done. Good morning, everybody. Back out here again this morning. It says the weather is supposed to be just about like it was yesterday, and then there's supposed to be rain coming tomorrow. I'm not sure how good you can see it. It's been a 13-hour day out here working, so it's getting dark out. Pretty quail. They're scared. They don't know what green grass is. All the olivegers are doing good. What are you doing, Lucito? You supervising or are you licking your lips? Okay, everyone. Well, that's the end of the second day here. I'll be back out here tomorrow and try to get this finished up. Well, good morning, everybody. It's supposed to be some rain today, so hopefully, though, I'll be able to get this done. Okay, so the cages out there are almost 100% complete. I need one more piece of roof metal. They shorted me one on my order, so I'm going to go figure that out tomorrow. Uh, once that's on, that is done except for cleanup. I decided it was raining out this afternoon, so I wanted to make uh, Melissa a brooder, like the one that I have, where you can put four different groups of birds or open it up, whatever you want to do, so I'm this far on that. Tonight now I have ribeyes on charcoal going, a couple of big baked potatoes, I got some vegetables cooking inside. It was my night to cook. I'll see you guys in the morning. Yesterday afternoon I got this cage all complete now. Um, actually yesterday during the day, Melissa and I grabbed the boat and we ran out to the property out on the Blind River and took a look at that. They got our property up on the river surveyed, so today Melissa and I are going to hop in the boat and run up there and take a look. And then we went out to eat, and I came back, and we finished this up. So this thing is all done now. Then after that, it, I actually had to work on this until after dark. I got the brooder all done, so now she's ready for whatever. I mean, you've got four sections. It's just like the one I've got back in Minnesota. So now I'm going to try to get some new belts put on the lawnmower here, and today I fly home. Got the belts on the mower, 
everything's good. Melissa picked this up on one of the buy sell trade exchanges and she got it really cheap and the guy said it just needed belts and uh, I put the belts on, put some gas in it, fired up and it mows really good.